Hi Diamond Friends, it's Linda from Diamonds for Linda. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate it. It's really sweet of you all to take the time to watch my videos and you have all been so kind in the comments. So I just wanna say thank you. And I think I'm all caught up on comments, hopefully. I took some time this morning, it's Saturday morning. So I took some time, I took about an hour to respond to everybody because I didn't want to get too far behind and because I had already read everybody's comments but I needed to take the time to actually respond. So thank you. So today's Saturday. I actually got up really early. For me, it's really early when it's like 6.30, but I didn't get out of bed till like 6.40, 6.50. Um, but I missed my nephew leaving. He, My son and my dad are taking him back to Georgia. So my son is four hours away right now. So I checked on, you know, how we have that 360. So I'm just praying that he gets there safe and they're going to stay for two days and then he'll head back because he has to get back to work. So it was really nice of my dad to go with him so he doesn't have to be by himself on the way back. So, and just a quick little update with the, with my grandbaby. We did get, we were able to go on Wednesday and that was really good. We took him to uh, lunch and I got to have a really good time with my son. My um, daughter-in-law was resting. My husband was holding the baby and just enjoying, just enjoying the little cuteness. And um, my son and I, we were making a coffee in the kitchen and we had a really good talk. So it was good. Um, I know he missed us and you could just see that he was excited that we were there. And I, I am just so thankful that we were able to be there and um, get to talk to him. And I think it's just been a lot with with um his mother-in-law <clears throat> so it was just really nice for him to talk to his mom um face to face because it's, it's kind of hard when we're texting and i don't right now with the baby i don't just call because i don't know if they're sleeping you know i kind of don't like to just call i have a hard time calling people because i don't want to disturb them or bother them but um so it was really nice just to sit down and just talk and it was really good so anyway, I have an unboxing or an unbagging for you from Star Star Or, I believe it's called. I got I was looking on Amazon again for some of the smaller kits. Um and I found Star Or, and so I did a little research and found that they do have licensed artwork. They have um their own website as well. In fact, I bought some back when I first started diamond painting before I realized how many multiplacers I was going to end up with. I actually bought a bag of multi-placers from them. So when I saw their name, it looked familiar. But um, I'm so, yeah, I'm really excited about this one. Look how gorgeous that is. It's a Christmas lantern. And I have another one on its way. So I actually bought this one from Amazon and then another one. So now I have a little wish list of things that I want from Star Or. They have, they have some uh, nice diamond paintings. So I thought I would open this one since the other one's not here yet. Um, I could do that on another video. And it has a sticker right here, which I don't want to just to cut, because I might cut this out depending on what, if they have, I don't know if this diamond painting has a sticker sheet or anything like that. So I'm gonna try to save that just in case I need it. So what I'm going to do is get my little handy dandy scissors right here. And I'm just gonna cut across right here. Hopefully I won't make a hole in the bag like I did with one of my other ones in another video. So we got that and we saved the sticker in case we need it. So let's see, I don't really want the bag to rip so I want to put it back in but it looks like it's really suctioned in there good. So maybe if I kind of squeeze it a little bit. You know, not everybody likes the sound of crinkles. So here's the bag and then there's, looks like there's a, so it says Christmas lantern star or diamond painting and it has like how you diamond paint it's like a little pamphlet and it has tips and um, so I guess this actually too bad they didn't leave this on the sticker sheet actually because it looks like they stuck this in here that would have been really nice if they would have just kept this on the sticker sheet so we could um, use it see how it's like you could tell it's, it was a sticker put on here so I wonder if I get there's like a contact where I could kind of let them know like hey this would have been great if it wasn't stuck on there but then again let's see what's in here maybe there is a sticker sheet in here so so 
So this is poured glue, and I'm just going to kind of roll it back a little bit as we... Oh, you know what? I guess we don't... Well, let's, well, let's just do it anyway for it to lie flat. It's already on this side with a picture facing up, but we'll just do this anyway. So, so it's poured glue and it has um, like scalloped edges and poked, but not with little um, dots. It has little, little lines, so it's poked to help with, so it doesn't fray and it's nice material. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's really nice. Feels good. So let's go ahead and move this over. Isn't that pretty? I love the light, the lantern. So this paper is not super thick, but I mean, it's like not, not bad. I like Craftably's, the stick, this paper, cause it's, it's more thick. This one's thinner, kind of more like, um, uh, maybe like Diamond Art Clips. I don't, the ones I have aren't as thick as Craftably. I really love the, the Craftably's paper on there. They're plastic. So let's see what we have. We have some, um, this is like nice and thick. What is it called, the, that paper? Oh my goodness, I can't, I can't think of it, but it's like what you use on your canvas. The only thing is I gotta, maybe if I put it between some, some books or something, it'll straighten out and flatten out. Release paper, that's what it's called. It's release paper and it's really nice. So once we could get that to lie more flat, it's really nice release paper. And then we have our toolkit right here with this cute little bag that you could reuse. Wow, that's really nice. So we have, wow, this is so nicely put together. <laughs> you got your tweezers. Get, that's a straightener right there and the tweezers are branded it has star ore on there and these are more rounded I think it I think if I'm remembering correctly that these are to help scoop the the diamond off or you know if you need to move it so um, I, I'm glad I got one of these tweezers now and then here's your tray with some wax and of course you want to remember to pull the plastic back before you stick your pen in there and then there's a seven multi-placer there's a four i believe that's a four and then a straightener and you have your pen with your comfort grip so that what you'll do is put your multi-placer on this side or your straightener and then you'll get your wax and then you can just poke that to get your wax to pick up the drills and it also has these bags, which these look like nice bags. So you could kit up in with these or kit down. Um, I'm not sure if there's enough bags in here because sometimes I notice with other ones, other kits, there's actually not enough bags to kit the whole thing up. But these are these are nice bags. They have room where you could write the um, like put the number here and possibly the the symbol. So yeah. I'm having a hard time trying to think of my words today. But those are nice. These are nice bags. I think I'm going to keep this one. And then it comes in this cute little Ziploc bag. So that's nice. So we'll put the toolkit to the side and the nice tweezers. And so the diamond painting has the name right here. And it has Christmas lantern. And here's the legend. It has 27 colors. And I don't know if there are any ABs in here. I don't think so, because I'm not seeing anything. Oh, no. Do you see anything that says AB? Well, I guess we'll find out when we look at the diamonds. And here's the drill area, the fabric size. So the drill area is 35 by 47. Let's see, does that say anything else on here? 
no. So with this one, what I might do, because I'm probably not going to make this into a sticker sheet, I think what I might do is just write these numbers on my container and then just refer to this. Or actually, I have a legend right there. That's what I think I might do when I work on this one. So here are the drills. They are in there. The baggies that are, um, gosh, I can't think of anything today. Oh, they're in the train baggies. We'll call it that today. <laughs> so let me go ahead and open this up. We'll look at the drills today. There's not too many, so it doesn't look like it'll be too hard to put them back. But let me just see where they open, and I'll try to do that down below. So hopefully it's not too loud for you all. How are you all doing? Are you doing fine? Are you doing okay? Let's see. What diamond painting are you working on right now? So currently, I usually have pictures of mine in the community page. And today I'm actually working on the moon one. It's the Sherry Baldy. There's actually like a Sherry Baldy event, which I am not um, officially part of, but I unofficially am doing my, it gave me a good excuse to, um, to pull my Sherry Baldy one out that I've been, I started last year, actually. I actually got mine from Bella Safina. So here's what the drills look like. Let me take my glasses off. So, yeah, it looks like... Maybe it's a dark brown, and there's some greens. We've got some purple and orange and some reddish, like brickish colors. Gray. So let's see what the drills look like. Oh, look at this pretty color right here. Those are nice. They look good. Oh, look at that pretty color. Let me just turn this over. So we got a new fridge today, or yesterday actually. And you know what I'm so excited about this fridge? It's a small fridge. I mean, we don't have space in our kitchen for a large fridge. Um, but this refrigerator has an ice maker. I've missed having an ice maker. So I am super excited about that. And my husband found it at Lowe's for $425. It was normally, um, I think it was $1,500 or $1,700 normal price. But because it has one small dent, uh, you know, someone returned it. Um, we got it for a really good deal. It was like it was marked down to like $700. And then they kept marking it down until it was $425. So I am so excited. I really miss having an ice machine. You know, we always have to make our own ice or buy some. Those drills look really good. What do you think? I didn't see any ABs. But the drills look like, I can't remember if it said acrylic or resin. Um, I'm okay with either. I haven't, I don't, actually I don't really notice yet. I feel like I'm still too new to diamond paint to, to notice all that for those things. But, um, yeah, so what did you think of the drills? Let me see. Let me try to show you some other colors closer. Look at that. That's a pretty color right there. So, yeah, we got a refrigerator with an ice maker. I'm so excited. <laughs> like I said, I really missed having an ice maker. But, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and look at the drill field. So this one has a plastic coming off on this end. I, could, I think I might just cut that because that could be kind of annoying. But not a huge problem or anything. So let's see. Things look clear. What do you think? I try to go slow because I don't want to get anybody dizzy. I don't see anything that'll look too confusing. Although you don't really know until you start, because sometimes I'm looking at all the symbols and the drill field, I'm like, oh yeah, that's great. And then when I start it, I'm like, oh, this one's, like two symbols I will have 
to really remember that not to get because you I could get in my like zone and then all of a sudden I realized that this is a similar symbol to the other one and I'm putting the drills on the wrong one and then I have to go back and take them off but this one doesn't look like it maybe the M and the N even though the M is darker I just have to remember like if I'm because once I get going you know sometimes you just get going and then all of a sudden you're putting drills on the wrong symbol but yeah it looks really good and then down here has a checklist yeah so that is this one I'm looking forward to getting my next one the other one's gonna be a tree and I'll show it to you when I get that one and there are a few others I would like to get um, I'm trying to remember there was one um, oh there was a flower I want to get some flowers you know, today's Saturday, and so Diamond Art Club had their their new releases. And, oh, I wanted to get the check pin someone so bad. The last, I don't know if it was the, the last two check pin someone's, um, I also wanted to get those. Because I have farm ones that I have from him, but I wanted to get a different kind of landscape. Because I think I kind of over, went overboard with my farm landscapes. I mean, they're all beautiful, and I can't wait to, to do them. But I kind of want to get some different landscapes. And um, I was really looking forward to these paintings when they came out. Because he was on a live with Mindy. And he was talking about the paintings. And I couldn't wait for them to be diamond paintings. And now they're diamond paintings and I didn't get them. But I really want them. I'm going to put them on my wish list. And um, yeah, I don't know when I'm going to get them. Two of them are not even in stock anymore. So... Maybe if I'm really good with not ordering diamond paintings the next few months, that when they actually do get in stock, I could just go and order them. So, I think that's what I need to do. Just not buy any for a while. Although, I will admit, I have a star ore coming. And I purchased from Radiance. Oh, what was the name of that company? Something had the word Radiance in it. They are having, I don't know if it's still going to be up when I put this video up because I'll probably put this on Monday, today's Saturday, but they had 40% off so I bought two diamond paintings, oh captured by Radiance and um, they had two diamond paintings that I had been looking at before but um, then I went on there to yesterday or the day before or something like that. I'm like oh my goodness they're 40% off right now so I went ahead and got those so yeah. So but um and then craftably is having they have some beautiful ones that they just released but i'm probably going to wait until next month and if they're still there i'll get one or two um because i really want those check pencil ones and i want to have money put aside so when they do come back because even the one today <clears throat> even though it wasn't sold out when i went on the website it probably will end up being a sold out so i'll have to do like the notifying and just wait for them to come back so anyway thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and um, remember to live a life filled with color cuts so much prettier that way. And if you watch to the end, why don't we, if, is there a lantern? I'm not sure if there's a lantern emoji, but if there is, um, maybe put a lantern or a Christmas tree because it says Christmas lantern. So if there's not a lantern, maybe put that Christmas tree emoji. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.